What's up guys, Corvus95 here, and welcome to another episode of my Pokemon Showdown Team Builders. Today, we are preparing for our upcoming battles in the Anything Goes tier. And of course, when playing Anything Goes, you have to use the Pokemon that's banned from every other tier in the game. Mega Rayquaza. So we're running Lumberry Mega Rayquaza. Dragon Ascent, Earthquake, Extreme Speed, v Create, Max Attack, Max Speed, Jolly Nature with 4 in Special Defense. Not much to say about it. v Create is there mainly for things like Scizor. It can be a bit of a problem. It's also there for Klefki, because Klefki often like to use... Well, Klefki is very common in Anything Goes just because of swagger and foul play and they often like to use what's the move magnet rise that makes them immune to earthquake so i thought i'd pack that not running a dragon type move but hopefully it'll work out despite that right anyway on to our second pokemon Another massively overused Pokemon. Another Uber that doesn't really fare that well in Ubers, but in general play, it's amazing. We've got Kangaskhan, Mega Kangaskhan actually. Scrappy as its ability before Mega Evolving. We've got the Kangaskhan out, obviously. Return, Sucker Punch, Power Punch, Ice Punch. I'm not running Fake Out, because Fake Out is so obvious that it's, it's pointless to run, basically, in my opinion. We've got Return for the stab normal move. Sucker Punch is to catch people out who think I'm going to go for a crunch and that they can outspeed me with their like Mega Move 2 or whatever. We've got Power Up Punch. It's pretty standard. Get the plus 2 attack just from... And we'll get damage off at the same time, which is brilliant. And we've got Ice Punch for Dragon Types, basically. <laughs> Dragon Types, very common in Ubers. I'm assuming are going to be just as common in Anything Goes. Max Attack, Max Speed, 4 Special Defense, same as Requeza. Next up, we have our two Special Attackers. So we have the Kyogre, Primal Kyogre, Blue Wall, Primordial Sea, Scald, Thunder, Ice Beam, Calm Mind. So it's a set of Kyogre. We've got 248 HP, 252 Special Attack with Modest Nature. 160 special defense, uh, sorry, not 160. Four in its special defense, of which it has a base of 160, and four in speed. Now, a lot of people will run min speed, Kyogre and Groudon, to, in order to get the weather off second. That's only really useful if you either lead with it, or if you both switch in at the same time. And the chances of that happening, the majority of the time I'm not leading Primal Kyogre. So I don't think that's going to come up as much in this as it does in Double Balls, in like VGC and stuff like that. So I'm th I'm running 4 speed just to outspeed all that Kyogre and that run min speed for exactly that reason. I'm running 4 just so I can outspeed those Kyogre. Next up we have probably the most used Pokemon in Ubers. And coming up here to A Anything Goes, we have a Choice Scarf Xerneas. So I'm not running Geomancy, it's too overused for me. This is basically the equivalent of the Eveltal that I used in my Ubers tiered battles. And Eveltal did really well, so hopefully Xerneas will do just as well for me here. Got Moonblast, Stab, very good move. Got Flash Cannon for other Fairy types as well as Rock types. We have got the T-Bolt for Water types, stuff like that. Also Flying types, there's quite a few Flying types in this tier. Lugia, ho -Oh, things like that. We've got a Focus Blast for Steel types, which are a big problem for us. We don't actually have a counter for Poison types. 
But I'm just hoping there's not any pure poison. There's not going to be many poison types in this tier. I can't think. I don't think there will be anyway. Like if we have a look at the Ubers tier, there's like Poison, Arceus, Mega Gengar I suppose could pop up. And yeah, but I don't think Mega Gengar would really want to switch in on a Xerneas because we could probably two shot the Mega Gengar with one of what other moves, like Flash Cannon might two shot it. Anyway, so max speed, max special attack, four in special defense, nothing really special there, Tim in nature. We have our ho -O, Leftovers Regenerator, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Recover, Calm Mind. So it's quite similar to most Lugia sets, but it's a ho -O. Not actually running a, not running a physical ho -O, like most people do with Sacred Fire. Also, a Pokemon to absorb burns meant for Kangaskhan and Rayquaza. Rayquaza does have the Lumberry, but I like having ho -Oh just to absorb burns, paralysis, things like that. I suppose it can't really absorb paralysis, it's mainly for the burns. And yeah, Calm Nature, 252 Special Defense, 252 HP, 4 in speed. It's my special wall. For this team, it might not be the best idea to have as a special wall because of the pre prevalence of electric type moves. But I feel like it does better as a special wall tanking electric type moves than it would do as a physical wall trying to tank rock type moves. So that's why I've run that as a special wall. And then finally we have Rocky Helmet, Giratina, Altered Form with Hex, Will-O-Wisp, Pain Split, and Defog. Now, I mentioned in one of my pre last week's battles that I don't run Defog and Rapid Spin often enough, and I often pay for it when my opponent sets up like every type of hazard on me. So I've got Defog on the Giratina, got Hex to take advantage of the burns that Will-O-Wisp will be dealing out. As for recovery, Giratina has two options. It has either Pain Split or Rest. And I didn't want to run Rest because that meant I would have had to run a Lumberry or a Chestoberry. And I didn't really want to. I wanted to run Ro Rocky Helmet since it is my physical wall. It'll be taking a lot of contact moves directly. So 252 HP, 252 Defense with 4 Speed Investment. Bold Nature. And yet, with the Will-O-Wisp, if a physical attacker is switched in on me, I burned him, he's going to be doing absolutely nothing to me. Hopefully. Hopefully, for some reason, we don't accidentally burn, like, a Guts Pokemon and it absolutely destroys us. But yeah, that's going to be the team. If you have any suggestions for Pokemon I could add to this team, or add to next week's team, which is going to be the partially used tier, PU... Leave them down in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe as well. And from me, Corvus95, thank you guys so much for watching and good.